ActionAid has been working on this piece of research for over 12 months. One of the, the big reasons it's so difficult is, is just physically getting hold of, of the information. And that's really at the root of a lot of tax avoidance problems. The information isn't out there in the public domain, either for the public and the media to scrutinise it, or for revenue officials, particularly in some of the poorest countries in the world that ActionAid works in. We were able to establish that there were some fairly complex financial engineering going on. ActionAid has been in extensive contact with Associated British Foods. We first contacted them back in last November, putting a, a range of detailed questions to them about their tax affairs in developing countries. Um, and we also tried to meet with them in the UK and also in Zambia. Now, unfortunately, they declined to meet us. Uh, and at that stage didn't really give us any substantive uh, answers that we were looking for. The company is going to great lengths to shuffle some of its profits and shove some of its payments right around the world. And this has a big impact on its overall rate of corporation tax, which the company itself admits it pays virtually no corporation tax in Zambia at all. It's taken a huge amount of manpower to produce this research. We've had researchers both in the UK and in Zambia going through all the company's documents thoroughly. We've checked all the research as well. We've run it past former tax inspectors from the UK. We've spoken to the Zambia tax authorities as well to, to try and confirm the findings. We've also done a lot of work in Zambia itself to really establish what the human impact of this scale of, of tax avoidance is.